Hello everybody and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. The game is now in open alpha and they've done so much to it, including a brand new logo. Check it out, it looks pretty sweet. But oh man, there is just so much freaking new stuff today. So many units, a whole revamped campaign. Oh, I'm so excited to play this game again. If you guys are excited to watch it, make sure you hit that like button. It's the best way of letting me know that you want to see more tabs in the future. We're going to jump in the sandbox and check out some of the brand new units out of the game. So all this is brand new. No longer do you have just the little grids. You got to chuck all your random dudes on. Now you actually have the battlefield laid out in front of you. You can pick the different maps. Scotland, Japan, Denmark, or the Sahara. So those are similar to the ones we had in the previous alpha update. But it's still awesome. Uh, they broke down all the units into different categories now. So we have Vikings, Crusaders, Greece, Asia, Napoleon, and Miscellaneous. Though this is incorrect, because as everyone knows, the Chicken Man Man hails from Greece. Or something. I don't know. In addition to that, they have how much you have spent down here and the estimated performance impact. Now with my new beefier computer, we should be able to handle something pretty high. So check this out. We're going to run through some of the new units they have here. Uh, we're just going to fight them one on one, just to get a little taste of what they got going on. So these guys are brand new. The Vikings, we got headbutters. Check these guys out. Can I scroll over to them? I can. So they basically have little Viking helmets. And I imagine they're just going to headbutt people. So we're going to do a, an army of them. That's so cool. Oh, you can just lay it out perfectly. Uh, Vikings aren't new, but spear throwers are. So we're going to do an army of spear throwers versus an army of headbutters. Start it up, and it just takes you right down to the action. And there we go. These guys are taking too long. Have they even thrown their spears yet? For the love of God. <laughs> I love the headbutters, man. They just, they kind of just flail around. Okay, are they going to lose, actually? They had such a big lead on the spear throwers, but... Damn, they do not handle these guys well. Look at that. This guy, what is <laughs> He's on top of that guy. What? He was like upside down. Okay, so the spear throwers win. Let's add some more headbutters. Let's see if they can win. Okay, performance is getting pretty low here. Eh, medium performance still runs perfectly. You guys gotta start throwing the spears. I think they'd have a better advantage if they were uh, further back. So they could actually, you know, throw their spears before the headbutters get them. Oh, there's no way the spearmen are going to win this. Absolutely no way. Yeah, there's just a zombie horde of Viking-helmed little bastards running around. <laughs> oh, God. Here they come, boys. Look out. I love that. They just lunge forward immediately. Now, just because I'm wearing red right now does not mean I'm biased for the red side. I... <laughs> they had them, like, impaled. I, uh, I support all... All weird putty made creatures no matter their color okay so the spirit throwers obviously won that one let's clear that out let's clear this side as well oh you click on the side okay that makes sense uh what else is new axe that's not new let's see oh because the previously we had vikings but they had the axes oh these guys are new okay so let's clear both sides out and we'll do some axe guys versus um those guys are really expensive. Let's see if there's a more expensive one over here. So under Crusaders, we have Thiefs, Footmen, Archers, Ballistas, and Catapults. Those are all n old. Uh, the Thief is new, but since they're such, uh, they're worth so much less. They're only worth 30, as opposed to these guys are uh, 200. We're going to give them a butt ton and try and give the Thiefs the advantage here. Move on in, guys. <laughs> he just got these little tiny knives. Oh, my God. These guys are awesome. Holy crap. They don't just swing an axe, they like, toss their whole body down on top of them. Look at them go! <laughs> oh, my, these poor little thieves. <laughs> they just like cartwheel on top of their axes. Oh, sweet! <laughs> well, these guys might be one of my new favorite units. They're so cool! Oh, poor little thief! Dang it, man! Okay, let's try and give him some more thieves. Try and help him out a little bit. Okay, I added three more lines of thieves. Let's see how these guys do. Ooh, this is not looking good. Come on, guys. You can do it. There's just a mob of them, man. Okay, have they killed any? It looks like they've taken out one of the Axemen so far. Or maybe two. Three over there. Okay, two over there, one over here. Oh, they're getting just swarmed and pushed up on top of these rocks. I think the thieves are going to win this one. They've got them all spread out. They're all clumped together. Only two Axemen stand over here. Actually, these guys might be fun. Oh, no, he's down. Uh, they're trying to steal his axe. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, why do we have these itty bitty knives? Let's just steal this big axe and try and use it against them. Those guys are going to win over here for sure. Oh, no. We've got two thieves. Three thieves. This guy's got his knife up his friend's butt. Don't think he appreciates that. Okay, axemen are going to win this, man. 
There's no way the dynamic duo over here are gonna be able to take out these two giant axemen. Good god. Let's see if the Greeks have anything that could beat the X-Men. So we spearmen, shields, and chariots, which... Oh! Oh, look at that! That's Christmas themed. Oh, man, I was expecting to be just the normal chariots. Yeah, spearmen and shields we've had before, right? yet. Yeah. Oh, no, spears look new. Huh. Okay, well, let's do, let's do a couple chariots versus these X-Men, see how they do. And... Oh, they haven't even... What? <laughs> just happened. Oh, they didn't do very well, did they? Okay, let's give them some more. I didn't even see what happened. Like, they just all died suddenly. Oh, so many. <laughs> so many Santa slates. <laughs> yeah, they do not do well at all, man. The chariots are super weak now. Okay, we got like one left. Yeah, they just broke immediately. Okay, still nothing is beating these freaking axemen. Holy crap. Okay, Asia, Taekwondo, Ninja, a Samurai Master, Ninja Master. Those are all new. Okay, let's try Taekwondo, dudes. What do these guys look like? Oh, they have those little helmets on. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, well, let's do a bunch of them since they are really weak, it seems. We'll just do a whole row of them. Or a whole block of them. Just fill it up. Taekwondo. Oh, wait. They have a red one. I put it on the wrong side. <laughs> oh, they have an infiltrator. He betrayed the Taekwondo masters and joined the red team. Man. Okay, how do these guys fight? Are they just karate chopping the crap out of it? <laughs> oh, my God. They're just like flailing around. <laughs> okay, come on, someone's got to beat the X-Men at some point. Have they, they've taken a couple of them out, they're doing alright. But now their numbers are starting to thin. Oh man, it's not looking good for the Axemen, I'll tell you that much. Or not, uh, sorry, I meant the Taekwondo men. Sometimes I say the complete opposite of what I mean to say. Yeah, this is not going well. At all. Ooh, that one last guy. <laughs> Where'd he go? Come on, buddy. I believe in you. Wah! <laughs> he just jumps up. Yeah. Dang it, man. Okay, let's clear that out. Let's see if the ninjas can deal with them. Okay, let's remove that guy. Ninjas everywhere. Let's see what these guys do. So are they similar to Taekwondo guys? Or are these guys that throw ninja stars? They actually did show that. Okay. Ooh. Wait, no. Oh, there they go. Now they're starting to throw stuff. They're going to start hitting themselves in the back. But they should... Oh, man. Look at that. Okay, ninja's pretty damn powerful. Holy crap. Now we've got Samurai Master and Ninja Master. Let's go ahead and do a couple of them against a couple of them. And fight! Ooh, I have a feeling Ninja Master's gonna win, man. Look at that. <laughs> They're just chucking those shurikens. Oh, these guys are just getting completely filled. <laughs> Front flip! They're not going down yet, though. They're fighting. Look at that, man. Oh, there they go. Okay, Ninja Master's won. There you go. And now I'm not exaggerating when I say this might be the single greatest unit to ever have been added to the game. <laughs> Freaking barrel rollers. <laughs> oh my god. These are just dudes standing on barrel <laughs> and then they just blow up. <laughs> Blue victory. How? <laughs> oh my god. They're so freaking awesome. <laughs> Look at them go. Oh my god. Oh, it's because there's like one dude. Oh, he got stuck behind the rock. That's why. Look at this. So he's just going to hang out back here. <laughs> and, let, and let them all kill each other. Oh, you poor bastard. Okay, let's clear that out. Let's just do... Uh, everyone knows Napoleon was famous for his use of barrel walkers. <laughs> just chuck them all over the place. Uh, we need some more on this side. Okay, now it's evenly spread out. So it's basically just going to depend on who, who gets stuck behind rocks the longest. Oh, I can't see what's happening. Their bodies just get all blacked and charred. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think this one blue guy over here is just stuck behind the rock. How's it going, buddy? You have no idea how lucky you are. Oh man. Oh, what the heck? Where'd your barrel go, buddy? Oh, he's making a beeline for him over all the charred and bloody battlefield. And boop! <laughs> Somehow, blues win. Oh, that is amazing. And now we're getting to the really weird stuff, which is miscellaneous. We have peasants, barbarians, you've had those farmers, boxers, chicken man, Hillary, and Trump. Oh boy. Isn't this fun? Oh, I'm sure some super clever, clever people are going to make some super clever comments. Oh god, you can hear them talking. 
So, Trump's got a couple of machine guns and Hillary's chucking emails. Oh my god. This is stupid. Especially because this company is Swedish. The developers. Hey, Trump won. So, there you go. It is kind of ironic that he's blue and she's red. Though, I guess I placed them there, so that was my own doing. Whatever. Sweet, so we got M16s and Super Boxers. Let's do a roll of them. They're both worth 3,000, so I guess we'll see. Ooh, it looks like I got a little iron fist going on here. Can they even get to these guys? <laughs> Good God. Oh, there they go. They're doing pretty well. Wow. Okay, I still hear Hillary talking. What is going on? Okay, let me go back to the main menu. I still hear her talking. Okay, quit the game. There we go. Now she finally shut up. Okay, we did the M16 Super Boxers. Now we got Chicken Man Man, Super Peasant, and Dark Peasant. Okay. Uh, Chicken Man Man's old. So, um, uh, what are these guys? Super Peasant? What does he look like? So he just looks like he's got some like gold bracelets on, some bling. Uh, he's worth a thousand, so we're going to give him two versus one Dark Peasant. Oh my god. <laughs> what the heck, man? <laughs> oh my god. That's awesome. Holy crap. Okay, let's do some more of these guys. I just want to see what the super peasants can do. Versus, let's do a couple dark peasants. So they <laughs> just make these demonic spikes shoot out of the ground. Oh my god, and skewer them. Is it possible to beat these guys? Look at this. Okay, we're going to go crazy with the super peasants, man. We're going to spread them out. There's only what, like, one, two, three, four, five, six dark peasants versus like a hundred super peasants. They can't even get to them. Here they go. Okay, now they're starting to smack him around. Oh, jeez. I, I really can't tell what's going on. Okay, there's still a couple dark peasants. I think all the dark peasants are still alive. Like, oh man. How are we going to take these guys out? Okay, let's clear this side. Let's see. <laughs> I wonder how the barrel rollers will do. Let's just do a couple lines of barrel rollers. <laughs> just straight at him. Barrel rollers, go. Oh. Oh, everything's blown up. Okay. Okay. And the dark peasants are still alive. God damn, are these guys just invincible or something? Why? Look, none of them died. Why is the game not over? There we go. This is hard. We're gonna try one dark peasant versus a butt ton of M16s. <laughs> Start. Oh my god. <laughs> so does he have a range on his spikes? That's what I want to know. Or they're, they're just going to shoot him off the map because he's just going to keep flying backwards. Oh, good God. There we go. Yeah, get him up against the wall, boys. Oh, it's just a firing squad. Yeah, it's, does he lose if he just falls off the map? <laughs> get him, boys. There he goes. Woo. Bye-bye, Dark Peasant. Does this count as a victory? Or is it going to be like a stalemate? Because he's still falling. There he goes. Just on and on and on. Holy crap, Red Victory. Okay, so we... That's the only way we've been able to beat the Dark Peasant is by pushing him off the edge. I don't know if that counts. Well, let me know what you guys think. If you have any ideas for things to do in Totally Aika Battle Simulator with all these new armies and units and things like that. If you have any wars or things you want me to try, create, definitely let me know in the comments below. Also, leave a like if you enjoyed and want to see more Totally Accurate Battle Simulator in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye.